How's it guys? It's Angie here back with Poke Tips SA. Um, sorry, I haven't recorded any videos. Um, I was just busy with work and getting some cards together and to make some new content. So I will be chatting in this video about um, what was happening, some pools and um, what, what I was buying and selling mainly. Um, let's start with that. Um, uh, I didn't manage to buy any um, good vintage cards yet, any vintage bundles like I did before. Um, I managed to sell some of my vintage base cards, so most of the good cards are gone. I sold the Zapdos, Gyarados and uh, two other cards to someone else the other day. I still own some vintage cards, um, it's not a lot, um, but I keep them separate in a binder. They're not in great condition and they will probably not be sold, so I will just um, keep them as is. Um, one day they might be worth something, otherwise I just keep it because I like them. <laughs> so that's fine. I have um, won some auctions on eBay, which uh, which I'm waiting for from um, from the USA, from the Aramax Korea. They're really slow this time of the year. They're, they're really slow, but this time of the year it's worse. So um, I've won uh, Gengar, first edition fossil, non-holo. So it was only about, um, I think, $90, $80. Um, which it's a bit expensive, but I mean for me to keep it will probably go up in value even if it's not a hollow It's still a first edition PSA 9 card. So that's nice to keep um, I also won the The legendary birds so all three legendary birds Moltres, Zapdos and Articuno from um, Fossil first edition, which is great. Um, I didn't expect it to win. Um, it did cost me about a thousand dollars excluding taxes and shipping so it's it's going to work out quite a bit i don't think i will make a profit selling those immediately when they do land um, but i tend to keep them for longer and make a profit eventually because they're still first edition they're still legendary birds um the articuno is psa 9 zapdos is the psa 9 error card so it's missing that halo halo part in the corner um so it's worth a little bit more and the Moltres is actually a beckett very strong beckett 9 so it's a 0 0.5 away from a 9.5 beckett but I probably won't get regraded. It is really good condition, but due to costs um, to get it to pick it from here from so to South Africa, it's just not worth the cost. So um, I won't do that. I will probably keep them as is, let them go up in value, keep them as my personal collection, or sell them eventually as a profit. As I am trying to launch an online store eventually when I do have enough merchandise and have the time to set up the online store. So for now, I'm just pulling up cards. Um, let's talk champion spot i did manage to get those booster packs a few weeks back in total i bought five double boxes um because they give me the most boosters so it's four boosters per double box and you get the double promo so um, i think it's 20 packs in total which i pulled to be honest they were pretty bad um, champions path is pretty vicious if you don't pull that charizard the shiny charizard or the rainbow charizard those two cards are not great um, so yeah <laughs> it wasn't a great pulls I will show the cards now and sorry that is actually I see I've got another double in the file so it was six so it was five in the first and then I managed one of the stores had a special so I bought another one so six in total so let's go through the pools I've got a new binder I bought yesterday um, the last one in store is actually a dragon shield old 160 cards it's about 400 South African rands I think that's about $25 US, just quick, but uh, it's they're waiting for new stock like the quad row one. Quad row is about 40 US dollars, I think, but holds about 500 cards or something, but it's still not in stock. So let's just go for some pools. Here is some other pools that I bought. So the first page has a Crobat and two Charizard that I won on an auction for pretty cheap. The Crobat has gone up in value, and the Crobat also will see play when. Um, I can't remember that card. It looks like Pikachu that <laughs> goes out of play um, and stand at play. Then Crobat will take over. So Crobat will go up in value. I'll keep it. That's from Darkness Ablaze. And Choizot or Choizot V's from Darkness Ablaze. But let's go through that quickly. So as I mentioned, the Char I've got the Choizot and the Crobat, which I bought. And then the Champion's Path is the Jewel London V. I promise, I'm probably wrecking the pronouncing, but <laughs> that's the card. Um, a card that's not in yours, which because it's got a buyer, just waiting for the person to collect, is the Kabu 
Rainbow Red Trainer. So that was the best bull, which is seven dollars. So that was pretty vicious considering I've opened about 20, 25 packs. Um, so it was pretty vicious. I've lost um, quite a bit of packs on that, but that's just how Pokemon cards work. So let's see here. We've got uh, Grab Block V. I think I've got two of these. Yes, I've got two um, of those. I've got the Venusaur V. And I've got Gardevoir V. And I've got Arcuni V. And I pulled. The Copper Jaw is actually not from there. That's just uh, that box I bought for Rebel Clash. I store at local stock. I thought I'd give it a bash. But there was nothing good from there. Um, I've got Galarian Ops again. I've got Boss's Order. That was actually from the Rebel Clash. Um, I'm actually keeping this for someone. But the person hasn't paid me for that. And the Crobat. So... It's still in my file for now. And then, as mostly reverse hollows and other type of hollows, no more V cards, I've got the double, which is the promo, promo card. And then I actually got three Altarias um, that I pulled. The one is actually the reverse hollow. This one's the reverse hollow, as you can try and see. This one's the reverse hollow. The two is the normal hollows. I've got Hatterins. Um, two of those, I've got two center, center scourges, I like how they look. Um, I've got three lichen blocks, which is pretty bad. <laughs> I've got a Marnie, which is not the full art rainbow one. I've got four scruff, scruffies, that's pretty bad. I guess there is a major Chapman's bar, it's pretty vicious if you don't pull those choices out. I've got three Machamps. It just gets worse and then i've just the doubles which is the promo cards um, in the in those boxes and then i've got zygarde and zygarde i think I'm not sure this from the same set no i think this one's a rebel clash i'm not 100 sure but that one's champions but i'm pretty sure so yeah that's that was my champion fast pulls as i mentioned it wasn't great um I will probably not buy them here. I think it's a bit of a risky investment. The try dots are great, but if I get extra bucks, I might do it. Um, I did buy a Vert Voltage box. The next video, I will show you my pulls. Those were actually pretty good. Um, um, and then the next up, I will probably, I've got Hidden, a Shiny Fates, sorry, <laughs> the names. I've got Shiny Fates. I've got four Elite Trader boxes on pre order. They will only probably hit maybe February, March in our, my country, South Africa. So that's interesting. And I've got the Dragon Vault B, B premium box because I like how Dragon Vault looks and it comes with a shiny. So that's pretty good. Um, um, so that would be probably next pulls. I do have Shiny Star V in stock as well. Um, but those are I'm trying to sell. I'm not too interested in pulling the cards. I know I can put a card back and there's some and again, the Charizard is in those packs, but I bought them to resell. Um, there's a, oh, they aren't really available in my country, and I bought them pretty cheap. I pre-ordered them pretty cheap, so they have gone up in value, so they're worth more than what I bought them. So I'll probably keep them around. There were some interest in them. Nobody paid me for them yet. Um, so I've got six of those, and I've got another ten, actually. Um, that I'm trying to clear from customs, but the seller declared the price incorrectly, so um, I... The customs amounts are too much, so I haven't paid them. I'm trying to resolve it uh, to get the amount right, so that's a work in progress. But I will probably keep them until the value goes up, because the previous set, the GX Ultras, which was the similar set in Japanese, is about triple the value, like two, three hundred dollars a pack. So I'm hopefully the same after the shiny star V, and then I'm, if nobody pays me for them, pretty shortly I will hopefully have double the value uh, next year, and I can sell them on eBay. For double the value so that'll be pretty good uh, once they get out of print i think the value will go up on them because there's so many cards to pull from them so i think that's a pretty good set to keep so that's a bit of an update and yeah i also just regarding the videos um i did get a mini tripod which i'm using now it's pretty good it's pretty cheap but it actually works pretty well i'm still using my galaxy s2 to record but it's a pretty good phone um video quality is pretty good on it um i don't think it's Nessie need for upgrade. I'm trying to work out how I can get another device recording so that I can do some openings on the channel. At the moment, I'm obviously just showing my pools. Um, so I will work on that. Um, maybe we can get that ready for Shining Fates because that's probably a big, big set. Um, and then we'll take it from there. And I will thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, like.
press the like button if you want to see some more subscribe that'd be fantastic i know i know i'm just starting up i'm pretty rough with the videos at the moment but uh, we'll get there eventually and the content will be pretty good i'll see you guys in the next video thanks guys